sorry about that earlier. It's just, we don't usually get your kind in here. My kind? They're magicians. It's a ventriloquist bar. See many Negroes either. Hey. And what's up with this broad? Yikes! Nick Nick Petty won't give a wooden boy a ball. I suggest you apologize before Jackie Presto is all up in your wooden ass. Sorry. Sorry that Muggo here can't pleasure his wife. What? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Stop, stop, stop it. You gotta go. This is a joke. Listen, Muggo. Listen. Listen. Fantastic Murray is missing, and you're the last person to see him alive. So I suggest you start talking fast. Talk! I was desperate, all right? I mean, believe it or not, I've been experiencing some challenges in the bedroom department. Told you, so. I, I am so sorry. So I went to Murray because he's usually cool with that. I thought that he could ease some of the tension by slipping her the midnight meat stick. Unfortunately, Murray couldn't do that on account of Drake and the divorce. What are you talking about? Mrs. Drake, she, she left him. Yeah, she, she fell for Murray. Only the feeling wasn't mutual. So Drake lied to us. That's science fact. Check, please. Sorry. Waldorf, but we don't accept competitors' coupons. In any way, this is for an oil change. Want to try? <coughs> hey, guys. Hey, Andy. Have either you seen Drake? Uh, not recently, but I have seen him before. What's going on? Drake lied to us. Turns out his wife had fallen for Fantastic Murray, weird balls and all. A while back, I heard Drake saying he was going to spend the night at Victor Haunting's. I thought it was a slumber party, but if his wife kicked him out, maybe it's more permanent. Do you have Victor's address on file? Oh, yeah, I have it in back. Give me a salad. I want to come with. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, yeah, it right? Might, it, it, it just might be a little too dangerous, is what we're trying to say, because, you know, if something were to happen to you, who'd be around to keep magic alive? I'm too important to the movement. Well, I'm like the white Malcolm X. Never said that. You don't have to. Got it. <coughs> Thanks. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie, stay strong, my brother. Wow. This is a really nice neighborhood. Birds tweeting and everything? Yeah, I thought this guy would live in a dungeon or something. Yeah, but he's a creeper. He is. Jackie. Victor. Starla. Hello. What a pleasant, unexpected happening. Victor, have you seen the Drake we been looking for? I mean, wonder if he'd been around. No. He had taken residence here temporarily, but had to vacate when my roommates freaked out. Any idea where he might be, or what? No, but if I know anything- Victor! One second! You were about to say. Victor, you didn't make your bed again. Did you have another accident? Mom, one second! Um, I could stop by later. Or you could call me. When you know, I know. When I know, you will know. Right. Shouldn't have banged him. Shouldn't have done it. You banged Victor? Something still doesn't seem right. What are you talking about? I don't take Drake as the violent type. You know, Muckle said that Murray wasn't in the Drake's wife. You don't think that she has a... Hold on. It's Waldorf. Hello? Jackie, it's Waldorf. Yeah, I know it's you, Waldorf. Every cell phone in the world has caller ID. I figured out what's going on. What? I was on my way home when I remembered Drake had mentioned the old abandoned theater. Yeah. So I decided to stop by... Oh, oh, oh hey guys, say, um, you look hey, like the type hey, of... Hey, don't, don't talk to those. The don't mess with those guys. They're gonna Ow. kick... I was wrong. I was very wrong. Jackie! Jackie, help! Help! 
you just said hunk or her love.